coming to UConn, what made you want to come up this way? You know, what did you see in the UConn you program? You know, Red and I, well, first of all, you know, knowing Randy Etzel's track record here and what he was able to accomplish here, you know, that, that enticed the heck out of me. I mean, you know, you've got to look at this thing and say Randy Etzel has the formula for winning at Connect. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I thought, wow, that's a, that's a good thing. And then having the opportunity to work with Red again. And, you know, Red and I and, and of course, some other good coaches, we broke records together. Mm -hmm. You know, we broke records at Arkansas State, and then we went to Auburn and we broke records there. So, you know, having the opportunity to get back in this offense and get with Red and, and, and do that again, that was uh, very appealing to me. You mentioned working with Rhett. What's been good about the relationship you two have? Well, and how do you work you know, off each other? We've always had a, you know, it, it's been an interesting relationship because, quite frankly, you know, I'm older than, I'm, I'm older than Rhett has been. You know, I've been coaching longer than Rhett's <laughs> age is. So, but we've had a, a great relationship in that uh, we recognize each other's strengths. And, and we, we've had, it's been fun. We, we had a lot of fun together. We won two championships together, got two championship rings. We broke records at Auburn. We did some things at Auburn that uh, are still unprecedented you know, in this offense. And I'm excited about this offense. This offense has some things that are, you know, I kind of reinvented myself as a coach in this offense. And uh, it's been a lot of fun now. Hey, obviously you got to have good players, and we've had some good players. You know, we've been fortunate enough to coach good players, and you know, I can coach those good ones. What, what makes you excited about the offense? Uh, obviously, last in the nation here a year ago. Well, what, what type of things are we going to see? The ability to play fast, I think, helps. The ability to play fast. I think the the idea that you know we're a spread team, we're going to spread people out, but we're still going to maintain a physical presence and run the football. That really appeals to me as an offensive line coach because hey, the bottom line is you're sitting there and if you've got a bunch of offensive linemen that say we need to throw it more, mm -hmm. the offensive linemen need to be fired. Okay, <laughs> I mean we got to, we got to run the football. We've got to maintain a physical presence and a toughness. That, uh, that I think you have to have, and this offense presents itself for that. You've clearly developed a lot of professionals at, on the offensive line. Um, how do you connect with your players, and how do you develop them once you, well, once you get to... you know, the, the number one thing that you have to do with, with, with guys, and it, it really doesn't matter if it's an offensive lineman or a running back or a corner or whatever, you have to, de you have to develop a relationship off the field. Mm -hmm that transcends what happens on the field. Because the bottom line, on the field, you're gonna strain the heck out of it, okay? And they, they have to be able to accept being strained, okay? And not resent it, you know? I always say this, coaching and teaching are synonymous. It's the same thing. The best, the best teacher I ever had was a football coach. He taught English grammar. He was a great teacher. He was a great teacher. And he taught me a lot, so, you know, looking back at it right now, I mean, you know, I've got to be able to teach these guys, and then I've got to strain them on the football field, take them where they can't go by themselves. And developing that relationship off the field is very, very important to help facilitate that. Take me back to, you, you mentioned one of your coaches back in the day. Um, what made you love football? What got you into football? And what are the values that you've well, seen come out of it? Well, I always play the game when I was a kid, you know. I mean, I, you know, being from the South and being from Arkansas, I always wanted to play the game. And I couldn't wait to get to play, you know. And then I, I was raised on a cotton farm in Arkansas, okay. And I think sometimes you have to know what you don't want to do before you know what you do want to do. Mm -hmm. And I knew I didn't want to be on that cotton field the rest of my life because I was in that field all day long every day from the time I was old enough to walk around. And I knew I had to go get an education and do something else. And I loved coaching and I saw what this high school coach did and then my old college coach you know, I decided I wanted to be a football coach, and I've been doing it ever since, and it's been a calling, more or less. 
When you first got up here, were you surprised about the facilities? I really was. Got... I, I, I thought, first of all, we came up here when I was at the University of Cincinnati and I saw the stadium. This is a really, really nice stadium, okay? I was a little confused about the location of it, <laughs> but, but the stadium itself is really, really nice. And then when I came in for my job interview and was able to visit with Randy and visit with the rest of the staff, I was very, very impressed with what they have built over there in that Burton uh, family com complex. It's really nice. It's really nice. Have you had a chance to evaluate film to this point? What have you seen, if you have, of some of the guys that are here currently? Well, we've got we've, we've got some work to do, you know, obviously, and and but that's okay. You know, that's the reason we're here. You know, you got you got to go to work, and um, we we've got to develop the guys' quickness and balance and some things like that. Uh, I see. You know, a couple of guys that I see will develop into good players. So, you know, I'm excited about getting the opportunity to get on the field and get on the grass and start coaching them. I actually even get in a meeting room and start coaching them. I'm, I haven't been able to do that yet. None of us have because of NCAA rules. But we have been able to go through and, you know, watch them run and watch them do some things and strain them a little bit. And we are straining them right now, by the way. All right. Appreciate it. All right. You bet, man. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.